Hey, so welcome to this guide for In Order Darkness in Brutal Mode. Uh, this is definitely one of the tougher missions to do in Brutal Mode and unlock all the achievements unless you know a certain trick. In this case, it is th using Dark Templar. Uh, you can use Dark Templar to wall off your base kind of early on in the mission, and I'll show you how to do that. And that makes it so much easier, and you'll see when the video starts. Basically, what we're going to do is, as soon as the match starts, we do two things. We need to train it more probes so we have minerals. And we also need to throw down a dark shrine and a couple gateways. Okay, so we're, you know, we're not going to build anything except for maybe a few pylons around the base. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to spend any gas early on. And we're going to put all our units at the front of the base right here. I have rallied the last of our great fleet. Your timing is impeccable, Admiral Urun. When the enemy takes to the air, we will need your support. Okay, so you can put all your units here and let th let them do. The Zerg perform their function as I planned. My hybrid they're gonna fight in the front here, which is the, where the first wave comes. And while they're fighting, you can kind of set up your first um, wall here. So we're just gonna put these together with this. Dark Trimport costs a lot of gas, they take a long time to build. Make sure you stick an extra one of these in the corner, just because sometimes these things can kind of flood through. Then you're just going to push the hold position. So once those are set up and you start getting kind of low on minerals, you can start adding in more cannons up here. And this is kind of useful because you, um, mutalisks will come up here and just kind of mess things up. So 
So as you can see, I'm capped on investment gas, and I still haven't got all my walls up yet. So you definitely don't want to send them... You definitely do not want to use, like, any upgrades or build any, like, high-tech buildings until this is set. And the reason I'm putting these Dark Templar kind of far forward is because sometimes Dark, um, I'm trying to think how to explain this, Detectors will spawn, and the further they are back, the easier they are to avoid, let's just say that. So it'd be easier to wall off if I like put my Dark Temple up to here, then it'd be so close to an Observer when it popped that I think that it would be kind of dangerous. I'm detecting a large amount of Zerg activity in their hive clusters. Prepare for an assault. Okay, once you get some of this done, we're gonna want to, uh, all our walls are done. We've got, you know, some extra minerals though, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start upgrading. And we're gonna start building buildings. So this probe's gonna sit here. He's gonna drop some star ports, and we're gonna do air upgrades, because that's the primary unit we're gonna use. I'm just going to start dropping cannons pretty much everywhere, and the reason we're doing that is because you'll need them. Like, if, if you ever, like, miss a detector and it kind of gets away from you, like these, or if you miss, like, some of these Broodlords, then the cannons will, you know, provide some support for you for a time. Okay, so you've got like this cluster of units here, and they're gonna snipe it. You have to be very, play close attention. And if you see any units that you might like, um, if you see any detectors or anything, you'll want to quickly attack them and finish them off. But the key thing is, you can save it. You, know, you can save your game in case you miss a detector, because this is a long mission. But even if you do like uh, mess up and let one of your walls go down, it's not the end of the world. Particularly if you have a ton of cannons in the center of your base, which is kind of why I'm throwing these up. Let's get some more upgrades going. Upgrade complete. You require yes. Upgrade complete. So yeah, we never engage these, because they're kind of powerful, we definitely don't want to waste the, uh, don't want to lose any units that we might want to keep. Your 
like to kind of spread these out because you get attacked from underneath as well. So there's the first one of these. So we're going to pull these back. So it's definitely a big mistake on my part letting uh, letting all letting this get in without killing the detector. But I want to show you that it, it's still not the end. You know, you can you can still recover. So even though I just said like upgrades complete, I definitely got to make fixing this wall like my top priority. Salandus, unleash the full power of your forces. There may be no tomorrow. Entaro Tastar, Zarato. This is the exit. Victory against all. Make sure you right click that and turn on auto create on notes. To victory. <laughs> Our glory will be renewed. Precisely. So you can like come in and kill these things once you get a bunch of air units. So we killed that detector and now, even though I took some damage, none of these units now will be able to get through. Definitely worth doing. I meant to take these all as part of the same fleet, but a little mistake. Under attack. I'm not spilled. 